Andy and Otko, your pick of the week. Really excited about this. Uh, just yesterday, the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi organization released the Raspberry Pi 3 computer. Yeah. Uh, we've been talking about this for a while. Uh, this is not the Raspberry Pi 3. This is the Raspberry Pi 2 because uh, they sent me one a couple of weeks ago uh, to play with. And so it's as Raspberry Pis are there, it's hooked up to all kinds of cool stuff <laughs> that I'm building and experimenting with. And I couldn't like disentangle it uh, to put it on camera. Um, you've probably if you haven't heard of the Raspberry Pi, this is a thirty five dollar computer based on a, a system on a chip that can do pretty much whatever you ever want a computer to do. Uh, it, it'll be whatever you want it to be. So if you want it to uh, be a media server. You can install Linux on it and use it as a media server. Use it as a weak powered desktop computer. Uh, you can use it as a uh, as a game emulator. You can use it as pretty much wherever you want. It has uh, built in HDMI, has built in uh, four USB ports, has an Ethernet port, uh, and it also has this uh, this head hardware header. So you can basically add on and build whatever component that. Uh, whatever you want to build this with. So if you want to add, uh, if you have, uh, let's say your, uh, your Wally toy, this is, this is not, I built this, <laughs> I built this with a, pre a previous, uh, uh, project. So if you have your Wally -E toy <laughs> and you notice that it has a demonstrator, uh, switch on it and you want it to, and you want it so that you can activate it over the internet or use it so that every time something happens on Twitter, Eve wakes up and does something to let you know that that's happened. Uh, I don't have this sort of electronic engineering mojo to do that myself. However, I can just simply easily build an interface for that on this by hooking this up to like two pins and maybe a resistor uh, and then write some Python code that runs on this that uh, looks at web pages or looks at Twitter, has a, a, a Twitter, uh, Twitter uh, command line sort of stuff and makes things work that way. Again, it's it's it, I love it because uh, the Apple II was the last computer that I ever used that I felt like I know everything going mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. inside and outside this machine. There's nothing I cannot do with this because I know every scrap of code on this and I know how to build hardware for it. This is takes you back to that sort of thing and it costs 35 stinking bucks. Uh, and so, and once again, if you just want to use it as a, 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 you have a kid that wants to, and you want to have them have a desktop computer uh, in their in uh, in their own room, you can run, you can install Chromium on this and essentially turn it into a Chromebook. And once again, just plug it into any uh, USB mouse, any USB keyboard, and any HDMI screen, and you have a desktop machine. Uh, I've set one up. Uh, to just be a media player, uh, it hasn't, of course, doesn't have a, a rotating hard drive, but it does have a, a micro SD slot, so I can put 128 gigs or 200 gigs of storage on this on board. Or if I want to actually plug in a spinning hard drive, it will interact with a spinning hard drive. That's that's how flexible it is. Um, now the Raspberry Pi three, put down Eve, uh, is a huge huge step up because now for the first time it actually has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi actually on the board. This used to be something where you'd buy like a little tiny micro dongle and put them into two of these ports. That's one of the reasons why when they updated it a couple years ago, they added four ports because everybody would put Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on it. Now it's on board and it has as small as this is, it's in my testing, it's about as powerful as the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth you'd find on your phone. So it's not as though you have to plug in an external antenna. So as a result, you can just basically install this anywhere uh, and you have uh, a networked, completely internet aware machine that will do damn near anything you want it to do. And if you're saying, but I don't know anything about uh, programming in Python, I don't know anything about uh, electronic engineering, I don't know how to get uh, cool sensors and components, that's where you go to Adafruit. Uh, because there is, uh, it was this device was originally designed as an educational computer to make sure that every kid in every school could have a a computer they could work on and learn uh, learn about computers with. Um, and as a result, it is born with, from this culture of if you've done something cool or interesting with it, you're not going to try to sell a piece of software or sell a hardware add-on. You're going to publish how you did that. So it is actually quite simple to attach like an LCD touchscreen to it. And it's very, very simple to add sensors and buttons. Or if you, if your, uh, if your Cub Scout group wants to do like a, a version of Jeopardy, and you need like those three like buzzer, uh, buzz in controllers, you'll be able to find those projects right there. Uh, and it just gives you the more you look at sites like Adafruit.com, where they show you, they'll not only sell you the components, but they'll also show you how to interface them. 
uh, the more interesting ideas you come up with. My next project, because I keep I keep buying uh, Raspberry Pis as they come out, so as a result, the my old main Raspberry Pi is now available, and now I've got this idea where I've got like my uh, this is the modem that was part that was pretty much my life in high school uh and just looking at these dancing lights leds in the front and so now my idea was that this is the actual modem so i don't want to it's too precious to me but i bought an identical one off of ebay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take out all the guts replace it with a uh, raspberry pi 3 uh, so it's always going to be on. It's always going to be a media server or, and a sensor server. But I've also bought from Adaf Adafruit a bank of NeoPixels uh, that will replace the existing LEDs in here so that I will be able to once again look up from the sofa at this box and see a familiar sequence of twinkling lights that I know that this means that things are normal. But if something is going on, let's say there's movement in the backyard or a file server or, or a print server on the network has failed, there's going to be another pattern of lights that will tell me without having to actually look at ASCII readouts uh, that will just show, show me uh, what's going on. Uh, I hope you take from this my enthusiasm for this stupid cockamamie project that I'm going to have a lot of fun doing that's not going to be ter terribly, terribly useful, but is eminently doable because I have this $35 thing that is eminently documented uh, and eminently supported by a big community uh, that doesn't put any limitations on what you can do. I can think of no better gift for a kid uh, let's say eight years old or up that shows an aptitude and a desire to build stuff uh, than a Raspberry Pi. Again, this is real power. It's those uh, are all Model Sonic. 2s, Jason. If you show my screen, I have the Model Three. Yeah, it just it was it's just still on, uh, it's still back ordered. So you know you yeah, have to wait because it was just it was just announced like yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Father Robert again, has one. We're going to play with it on uh, Saturday on the new screensavers. I know yeah. you've been in touch with uh, with him. Yeah, it's so awesome. I, I, said, I, I I can't tell you how enthusiastic it's. It's. I think that the Raspberry Pi is easily as impressive a computer as even the iPad Pro, as anything that Apple has made, because this is, again, a $35 computer that a kid can own, and not just because they have $35, meaning that there is nothing they are not allowed to do with this. Uh, and there's nothing that is not documented. Any idea they have, they can figure out how to do it. If they want to build a robot, they can build a robot. They can do anything with it. And if they do blow it up, 35 stinking bucks. You can buy another one. It's easy as pie. It's great. So, um, it comes, uh, thanks to Microsoft, you can get Windows 10 on it, but you can also get Minecraft on it. Yep. And it's a special edition of Minecraft that has an API for Python. It comes with Python and Idle. So it's a great computer for uh, learning how to program. I mean, really great for learning how to program. Yeah. Just I mean, in every way. It's, 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 nice, it's nice when you do a Hello World program on whatever computer you're using, but it's quite another thing when you write a piece. To build a pyramid as, in Minecraft. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, just, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking just, just as simple as I've hooked up an LED, yeah. and I can make that light and go light on up. and off. Yeah. And I can I can basically and I can hook up a push button to it that it will the LED will only come on if I tap the button three times, not mm. two and not four. That is amazing because you're building something real. That this is not just lights on a screen. This is a physical object that you can make. Once you once you once you teach them how to hook it up with uh, stepper motors and stuff like that and servos, oh my freaking god! Uh, it's just it's just quite amazing. The key thing, and I didn't really realize it till I got the last Raspberry Pi, which of course I just bought, which is why they came out with a new one, uh, is that it really is a computer. It's just a yes. computer. It's a <laughs> it's a thirty five dollar computer it's not a hobbyist breakout box or something this is a full right. it's, it, computer it doesn't it doesn't stick together with legos yeah this this the, the new one is a big step up not only because it now has that on those onboard uh, wireless features but also the cpu is about a third uh, more powerful um the upper limits of what you could really do with the previous pi were evident once you load up a web browser on it and try to you know, try try to launch uh, The Verge or some other really, really uh, script-heavy site. Uh, now, if you put Chromium on it, it can keep up with it just fine. If you, you, can, if you want to use it for Google Apps, uh, it will really just keep up with all that stuff just fine. It's just powerful enough now that it will be a very credible machine for pretty much any basic task you want to throw at it. Highly, so highly recommend. Arduino, Andy. 
It's uh, an Arduino is uh, a lot uh, uh, electrically electronically. It's a lot simpler because it's not booting up into a command prompt. Uh, so uh, an Arduino is more of a microcontroller, more of a programmable mm -hmm. controller okay. than a real computer. You can, for instance, uh, Adafruit will teach you how to hook up a display to it and get input and output from it. But uh, that's the best way to illustrate it. If you hook up a display to Raspberry Pi, you will get a login screen and a command prompt and a GUI that responds to a mouse. Uh, so if you want to make it uh, work like a standard computer, as opposed to something you program to do cool stuff, uh, then that's totally, what the Pi yeah. will do and, for and, you. And, and, there's, and there's a couple of things that I use Arduino for, that I'm working, playing around with an Arduino for, um, that, that is uh, very low... You know, it, you actually don't want it to be thinking. <laughs> you want it to do exactly <laughs> what you tell it to do very quickly and very low latency. And um, but but there's a lot of limitations to that. But it, it does. You know, we um, yeah. Think control. of this as a Linux computer. I mean, it really yeah, or it is. you know, that's I mean, what it's just it a full yeah. computer. It runs a version of Debian. Yeah. Raspberry. Right. And so, and, but, but but I'm just about to start playing with the Raspberry Pi, and specifically, I want to get my my uh, my son into it. He's eight, and and perfect um, for that. It, it was funny. I I really was kind of looking sideways at Minecraft until I realized, until oh, no, we were talking about it. You mentioned with, the, oh. with Python, I was like, oh. Because I told him, you know, you can program to build stuff, and he just, his eyes got really big, and I was like, oh, he's going to be like a, yeah. a little hacker. He hack writes about five it. lines of code that builds a little house, yeah, and, and you just then, do it, and the house is there. Yeah. And then he'll be, yeah, he'll be on, he'll be off to the even, races. Even just as a utility sort of thing, there was a, a couple of years ago, there was a, a situation where I just needed to know how many times was a certain door being opened and closed. Uh, in my house. And the, and it, maybe there were easier ways to do it. Maybe it wasn't a, a, a terribly complex problem, but it just occurred to me that, oh, well, I could easily do that. I can write the code for, I can hook up a, a magnetic switch to the door, plug it into the Raspberry Pi. It runs off of, uh, uh, it'll run off of a uh, standard like micro USB charger or battery pack. And so I just simply, and I installed a uh, an Apache web server on it. And it took me all of like 45 minutes to write code that would simply create a static web page with a number on it of how many times since power up has this door been opened and closed. And so from anywhere in the house or <laughs> theoretically anywhere in the world, I could then simply open up that web page. That's simply a file on this little Raspberry Pi and find out, okay, I've opened this door 35 times so far this month. Or uh, the, the, the person who is allowed to allowed entry to that shed as okay i guess they were in and out of that shed a couple of times no, nothing nefarious i was just trying to figure out uh it was about time for me to start putting locks on it and i was trying to figure out how much would it inconvenience this other person that's storing tools in my shed if i were to put a lock on it and give him a copy of the key and i was like okay so he, he only tends to use it a couple times a month so it wouldn't inconvenience him all that much and like i said if if it were a real electronic engineering project it would be way way too much for me to say i want to create a web server based machine so i could access from anywhere but because i have like now three or four of these it was like okay and if it's it's I, I had it like actually just like in a ziploc baggie outside because if someone was walking through the backyard and stole it okay i'd be sad about it but okay 35 bucks who cares Andy Anako, Adafruit, good place to get Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's back ordered now, of course, because it yeah. hasn't come into stock. But A D A F R U I T dot com. We love Lady Ada and want to support her. But there are lots of other places that sell the Raspberry Pi three or will when they, when it gets in stock.